Okay, now we are ready to epoxy. So I've got my two part epoxy here. This is my part A or my resin. This is my part B or my hardener. So I'm gonna mix these in a one to one ratio in these little measuring cups. I've actually already got some measured out. So I've got about 20 milliliters of each in these little measuring cups. I'm going to combine them both into a bigger cup. I'm gonna stir it for two minutes um, and then I'm gonna transfer over to another cup and I'll explain why in just a little bit. And then we will apply it to our cup here. You can just apply it however you like. I like to just kind of pour slowly while I go up and down on the cup. Okay, so for the bottom, I'm just going to take some on my finger and go around the bottom. You don't want to apply too much epoxy to the bottom. Um, that can cause your cups to be really wobbly and uneven. So you want to make sure you get a nice, good coverage, but a nice thin coat. So after I've got a nice, pretty even coat, I'm just going to take my finger and just very lightly, I'm not doing too much pressure here. So the last thing we're going to do is take either our heat gun or our butane torch and just pass it over this to make sure that we're popping any bubbles in the epoxy. This is facet, so it's going to be cured in two hours and then we'll be ready for another coat.